AfterBuzz TV Network, now the largest new media platform on the web, and your number one source for after-show entertainment. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Dancing with the Stars After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Dancing with the Stars After Show. Thing is for doing and we are here doing another show right here on After Buzz TV of Dancing with the Stars. It is season 16, week number three. I am Kristen Burt, and tonight we have such an exciting show. We've got a lot of hot men in the studio, and we're going to cast of thousands, and we're going to have a whole lot of fun. So let me introduce my host uh, to my right, Suri Serrano. Hi, everybody. We are pumped. The, we have a full house, in yeah. case you can't tell, and uh, we're already, it's already a party. So It really is going to be a party. <laughs> Just across from me is Anna Tropinskaya. Hi, everybody. <laughs> dun, 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 Jake Dupree. Hi. Hi. Oh, he's, he's going to go all cute on us. And our very special guest tonight. We are so excited to have them here. Yes, the two hot men on the couch. I love it. Jake, you're hot, too. Don't you worry. Not we hear together. your fans scream. <laughs> yeah. Tristan McManus, of course. Oh, yeah. And Henry Bialikoff. Hi, guys. Yeah. A return guest for yeah. us. Henry, welcome back. We appreciate that. Appreciate being awesome back. Awesome to have you guys. Thank you. And your fans, like we've been saying all day, have been blowing up our Twitter feed. They are so excited. <laughs> Six, I, we hear you screaming. Yep, six pages of questions for them. I don't think we're going to get to all of them because we'll be here until we'll tomorrow. Give it a bash. That we'll just give it a bash. that yeah. just that just proves the point that women tweet more. <laughs> women love hot men. That's all and it means. They tweet more. And all right. Well, I want to get started right away and just ask Tristan because you know last week was a very big week and, and a sad week. I think we were all felt so sorry for you yeah. and for Dorothy. Can you give us an update on what's happening with Dorothy? Um, yeah, um, Dorothy's back in town. She's actually going back to Palm Springs today. She was up seeing her doctor, so um, she's still in a lot of pain. She's had another uh, another shot in her hip and her back. So um, she's still in a lot of pain, but she's back walking now. So um, mm. hopefully she'll get better soon. And you've got to tell us, what was that moment like when you found out that she was going to have to drop out of the show? Yeah, I mean, heartbreaking. <laughs> 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 like it was. No, Keep to be honest, with you, it's, <laughs> it, it's very hard. I mean, well, it's very easy. It's very easy to be quite selfish in a, in a moment like that. You know what I mean? And kind of go, oh well. I was going to win this year, <laughs> you know, but uh, honestly, it was the first thought was, I, I mean, I just hope she gets better, you know, because I knew she was in a lot of pain and it's not easy to see every day. Mm. If, if I wasn't dancing with Dari, I could have just kind of turned my head to it for the week and then just worry about it on the Monday. But um, I, I was seeing it all week. So I was just I was glad that um, when the results came back as as negative as they were, that it was the positive came out that someone made a decision. And, and you have to put your health first. And But, you know, I have yeah. to say, we were all so thrilled when you had Dorothy Hamill and we saw that first week. We yeah. thought, this is Tristan's so year. It was magic. Yeah. That was magical. Right. That first dance Jeez. was amazing. Thank you. Really yeah, was. no, it was great fun. I was, I mean, I was really looking forward to it. And I, and I got to, um, to be honest with you, I, I've, I've had absolutely no interest in ice skating and stuff because I'd never gone to see one before. And I was very lucky that I got to go and see Dorothy's show that she was doing. And it gave me a total cool. new appreciation for it. And, um, yeah, and now I love ice skating. <laughs> it's amazing. Really amazing. You can choreograph something for her. Why not? I know, yeah, I'd love to. I mean, hopefully, hopefully we, can, uh, we can work together in the future if, if everyone's healthy. All right, yeah. well, it's good to hear. And, Henry, you had a big night, four dances last night. Yeah, ah. yeah, it was. It was a few quick changes too many, I, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> but they were all good changes, and, and you choreographed the Demi Lovato number, correct? I, I co-choreographed okay. that one. Uh, we uh, worked with Barry Lather, her creative director, and Paul Kirkland, uh, who is Shana's boyfriend. He choreographed uh, the, the sort of main hip-hop bits, and I took uh, the contemporary side, the partnering side. Yeah, and so we kind of 50-50 did it all together. It was 
an amazing number. So cool. That's great. Yeah, and how hard is that when you're co-choreographing and you're trying to piece things together? Because you have to worry about transitions, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the whole thing is about blending it together while still framing Demi, you know what I mean? And we don't have Demi, so we just had to work our, our minds around it. We had four hours together and then four hours to put it all together with everybody, so it was great. It was really good. Did you even have one day off? Where you didn't weren't choreographing. I mean, no. seven days straight. Probably. I mean, I, I thought the the Monday and Tuesday I'm, I'd have off, but uh, no, didn't have that. <laughs> Never. Off. That Not was on like, dancing with Christmas stars. time off. Yeah, oh. yeah Christmas was, was basically it. <laughs> I love it. Well, I think we should get started with one of our fan questions since we have six pages. We're not going to get through all of them tonight. Maybe we can get you guys to um, answer them later, and we'll maybe put them up online or something. Sure. But look, we even got kids' pictures. Everyone's oh. so cute. I know. Cute. All right, I, it's I love ours. <laughs> Whose baby is it? We're doing a DNA test tonight. Henry. 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 Let's start. Paris. Have you been over to France lately? Not that I remember. No. Let's start a rumor. She looks about five. <laughs> She's adorable. Okay. Timing's about right. <laughs> Here's the question uh, from Kristen Hope, and uh, you know, both of you guys can maybe answer some of this. But who decides which member of the troop will choreograph? for the Tuesday night results show? The bosses. <laughs> they, they actually dole it out and the say, buses. you're yeah. choreographing next week, even if you know it's not your specialty or you've got a busy week or... Oh, well, I mean, I get, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot more thought that goes into it, but um, yeah, yeah, I suppose. It, yeah. it, it's kind of a... I more. mean, if you, look, if you put forward uh, an idea, you know, you put forward some music and, and things like that, like I, I've recently done that uh, in the last season and in this season, they kind of give you a heads up, okay, well, this week we'd like you to do something. But, you know, as Tristan said, generally they delegate. The bosses say yeah. it. Yeah. So how much time are the troop, is the troop putting together in weekly? I mean, how long are your rehearsals in comparison to a pro and the celeb? I mean, look, usually our rehearsals are, are, are not comparable to the pros because they're with the celebrity for however many hours the celebrity can give them, basically. We kind of week by week change. If we take an average of my week, my previous week, then, then we could say it's a bit comparable, but, right. but otherwise it's, it's not that comparable. They're, di they're different, I think, mm. you know, but it's, uh, I think, I think that... I think a lot of people underestimate the amount of hours that the troupe do put in, though, as well. You know, and there's always that differentiation between the troupe and the pros. But I mean, everyone's everyone's professional. You know, everyone right. everyone dances everyone's all the same a amount professional of time. Dancer. Yeah. It's Completely. just it's just different when 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 you're choreographing something for another professional dancer. Yes. Obviously, it's going to take longer if you're going to be choreographing for someone who hasn't danced before. And I think that's where I mean it's. It's mo it more is the hours as opposed to the effort, you know, mm. so. Right. Definitely a different, different set of challenges, I would oh, imagine. Oh, for sure, yeah. for sure. And, and I love this question, the, Kristen's final question. Uh, do the, does the troop hang around and help the pros throughout the week, and do you guys hang out in general? There are a lot of unofficial hours that, that definitely <laughs> go in that direction. I mean, even today, you know, I was helping Lindsay out with, with just a few ideas for, for her work that with, uh, with Victor and things like that. And any time we get asked, you know, we will come out and help, you know, because it'll come back, you know, one day uh, we'll need some help or we'll work with some of the pros on a number together that we'll collaborate. So, yeah, yeah it always comes back. Yeah, we're all, and we're all dancing against each other, but we're all dancing together as well. I mm. mean, it's a, it's, it's, a sh it's a show and we all... The better everyone does, well, then the more everyone benefits. So, I mean, we all, mm -hmm. we all try to help each other. Yeah, there seems to be a good camaraderie amongst all of you. Mm -hmm. It seems everyone likes each other. I have a question. Who's, who's the jokester of the bunch of all you guys? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to say. No one wants to the say. The one with the Irish accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it. He's bright red. I know. He's blushing. Oh, my God. He's <laughs> Who's the most serious? People want to know these things. Ah, uh, who's the most serious? That's oh. different. That, that depends it, on the It week. depends what time of day, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Some All people right. are not morning nothing. people. Nothing. I, I got nothing from you guys. <laughs> Just a red face. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's funny. <laughs> we do have a caller on the line, so we want to get to them. I know. Yeah. So, hi, hello. Hello, it's Grant. Hi, Hi, Grant. How are you? You're up late tonight, aren't you? He's on the East Coast. Wow. Very late. <laughs> yes. Hi, I'll Grant. Yes, I'm on spring break. Oh, you're oh, on spring yeah. break. Yeah. Well, yeah. good. Spring break. I don't want you to be tired for school tomorrow. <laughs> Grant, you're a senior, aren't you, in high school? I am. Yes. All oh, right. Okay. Well, say hi to Henry and to Tristan, and do you have a question for them? Yeah. 
Well, actually, it's kind of a statement. <laughs> um, <Uh-oh. laughs> I wanted to talk about that because last week the results show wasn't really talked about as much. But I wanted to talk about that um, the meet the pro number, the meet the pro troop number with Lindsay, Julian, Whitney, and who else was it? Glenn. Glenn. Mm-hmm. I thought it was actually great. I think it was one of the best numbers of the night. But I also want to talk about the um, male number that Tristan and Henry were both in this week. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Um, Tristan was great. He was very strong and powerful. And then Henry, I think he was, like, blowing everyone's mind because he's out there killing it. Like, I felt like he was out there saying to the producers, this is my chance. I'm showing you that I am ready for a pro or ready to be a pro and give me a celebrity as soon as possible. I love that. Grant, I'll, 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 give, you. You, I'll give you that 100 after. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm so, I'm so glad Thank you said you. that the Thank male you. number was amazing. It really was. Yeah. And I think what's nice is when you do see a male number, you know, the first week I talked about DL when he was like, talking about how oh. dance is not manly and it made me frustrated but you take a look at what you guys did last night and it's just incredible and it shows strength and it shows power and sexy dance is for everyone i think male dancers are like superman i agree with I you i totally Do you know agree. what i'm saying it's I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> they like, they I know what you're saying. I wish like, I knew what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when they have this kind of attitude like this, so they are so I love it. Well, Grant, thanks so much Thank for calling you, in. Have Thank a great you, spring break. Thank you. Yay. We'll talk to you soon. Yep. And- oh. oh. <laughs> Be the, the best. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the second hundred came out. Right? Uh, but you know, yeah. Grant, just tweet it, and we'll figure out what you said after. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, you know, this is just uh, it's such an incredible season. I really feel like because. Uh, You know, I really liked All Stars, but I felt like everyone was so good. And this year we have different levels of people. We see people struggling, and we see people improving, and then we see people that are already at the top. But um, do you guys feel a difference when it's a season like that? I mean, you can speak to that, and, and you guys can too. Um, yeah, absolutely. I think last season was very, very competitive. I feel like um, people knew, celebrities knew what they uh, signed up again, and they obviously did it again because they enjoyed it the first time. But it's almost like this, this, this sort of innocence of like, oh, I had no idea it's going to be this much work, or oh, I didn't know I'm going to have so much fun. Like that was lost with All Stars. Like they were already half pros, you know? Mm-hmm. So I think with this season, people being on such different levels and coming again from this fresh perspective, I think it kind of keeps it a little bit more interesting. I, I enjoy the energy. I mean, are you guys feeling yeah. it too on the show? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, every 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 season's real different, you know. Um, the All Stars is is exactly what it. I mean, it's the All Stars. You know what I mean? You kind of you kind of know what you expect. It's and, the and sharks. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And, it's and for the me, dancing that's what it was. with swimming with the sharks. Right. For, for <laughs> me, it was just it was just. Who can be the best? Who can be the best? That that's all to me. The All Stars was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you do you. What I enjoy about the show is is getting to know people's stories and getting to find out yeah. stuff about people. And I think that's what people are getting now. And and sometimes the kind of dancing is a secondary thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, you want you want to see people improve. You know, and, and I think at the moment there's there's, there's such a divide certainly already I, with, with right. two weeks. You know what I mean? You kind of you're going in known who's going to be good. You're going in kind of known who's probably got not going to do so good. You know, and and there's there's not the dynamic that they kind of had before. You know, so so the the stories are going to play a big part into it. And I mm. think uh, to me that's that's the that. entertainment mm-hmm. part. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm enjoying the stories. I mean, you, sure. see, you see people's struggles, and because we all have struggles in our own life, and you just realize we all have self-doubts. And, you know, these are celebrities, and they've had levels of fame and levels mm-hmm. of money that maybe some of us won't achieve in a lifetime. Right. It's nice to think, like, oh, they're kind of like me some days. <laughs> some days, not all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, before we move on and start talking about what happened on prom night, uh, I just want to remind everyone, because I know a lot of you w- listen to the show on iTunes, we want you guys to share with a friend, rate us, give us comments. Sorry, have you visited iTunes yet? Yes. You have. Okay. How about you, Jake? Have you I visited have, iTunes? Of course. And talk to all of our fans mm-hmm. on there? All I right. Have. They've been so responsive, and it's, it was so nice hearing from all of them. It was kind of overwhelming, but in a really, really great way. I loved it. Yep. We love um, you. Thank you're you. The best fans. Yes. Of course. Of course, we're commenting on YouTube. What are the boys doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> they realize they're like, camera, we're not them. Hold on. They, we they gotta finish. 
wish oh, our iTunes. Boys. I know, I'm sorry, but they're distracting. <laughs> Great. Concentrate. I know there's hot men over to your right. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. But we just want to let you guys know that we hear you too, and, yes. and we are commenting and listening to what you have to say, so we sure appreciate that. All right. <laughs> You can, now you can go over there. <laughs> I might send Suri over on the couch. I'm not I sure. Might have to join yes, them. I know. All right. Well, let's get into this week because it was prom night, and I just thought, what a really fun way to open the show. The opening on Monday night was just the opening just was fun, colorful and fun, choreographed and by Louis Van Amstel. Louis Van Amstel. Insane. Mm -hmm. Right. We miss Louie in the season, of course. And uh, it is week three, so we're expecting a little bit more from everyone. Mm-hmm. And not everyone brought it, not everyone nope. delivered. <laughs> so, oh, here we go. Yes. Gotta go. That, that's honest. Okay, so let's get to the very first dance, which was yes. Allie and Mark with the mm -hmm. Viennese waltz. Yay. Okay, uh, you know what? You, let's start with you, Anna. What did you think? I really enjoyed it. I think she uh, she was very strong. She has obviously beautiful upper body and flexible back. Sometimes uh, her footwork is is a little funky. Like she gets stuck on her straight legs, which prevents her from gliding smoothly across the floor. But the biggest thing to me was her little story before when she said, "Well, I've never been in love, and I don't know how it feels." And I was like. Oh, you, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cute. You like flashing back to I remember when you was like, oh, was yeah, like... she's like 17, right? And she's been a professional athlete. Yeah. And living in like yeah, a Olympic date. camp, you know. Most yeah, of her she's life. at Breston's <laughs> in Massachusetts, like right. in the gym at 6 a.m. every day. Yeah, so. so I was like, I was really proud of her. I mean, she brings actually for a an athlete for a very young person, she brings a lot of maturity in her mm -hmm. dancing, so it's it's really lovely to see. How about you, Jake? I really enjoyed the contemporary-esque synchronicity movement that happened at the very beginning. I thought it was kind of, it didn't really fit with the flow of the dance for me. Oh. I want, <laughs> I want Allie to just let go a little bit more. Thank I think you. There's, there's, there's you. a little spark that just needs to click a little bit for yes. me. I think that not that it comes off unrelatable, but it kind of does. And I want her to just really yeah. go it's, for it. It's just going to take some time. It's the yeah, gymnast and, and yes. breaking the gymnast mold. It's, it's just going to take some time because she's so perfection. young. Mm -hmm. I know you know this, but yeah. I'm just saying that for Can I, at home. I always like that they acknowledge her top line, too, which is mm -hmm. really nice. I just wish that, again, she would relax a little bit into it and just kind of let it ease and flow. Can right. I just point out that Oksana was suspended in air, one of the troop girls? <gasps> I saw that. Yeah, that was I was like... Of course they would make Oksana <laughs> like a Cupid. <laughs> I, th I just thought that was, I was like, uh, uh, okay, cool. Did you guys see any, any inside scoop? I know you were there on Monday, Henry, so any inside yeah. scoop on Allie and Mark? I mean, uh, what I got to see is what you guys got to see, to be honest. Uh, yeah. uh, and I thought they did a really good job. I thought Mark's choreography was really spot on. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I mean, I agree with you. I think uh, Allie, when she, when she kind of performs like she performed on that first week, when yes. she kind of let her hair down and just, you know, gave it, you know, her all, which she does every every week, but in that type of uh, zone for, with that tone, I think I think she's, you know, one to one to look out for. And I think it's so interesting, you know, she can't count to music, and now all of a sudden she went from fours and eights to sixes, and she mm. must have her head must have been spinning all week. <laughs> 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 she, uh, I should say, Allie and Mark got a 23, so yeah. a good way to start the day. Yes, and uh, we'll fair. move into yeah, I think totally fair. Um, Andy and Sharna doing the cha-cha-cha. Yeah. Okay. Jake, go. Yeah, he... Go, Jake, he go. Like, I, you know how I feel about him. I genuinely, I want him to do really well. It's just like that groundedness that needs to happen, has to happen every week. And I know that it's hard for him because he's not a dancer, not a performer in performer in that sense, but I just want him to really get in that floor and hold on to the floor, because there were times when he was like leaping across her doing <laughs> turns, and I was just like, Where are what, you? what is this? And his like, little sickle feet. I mean, his but I, feet. I, what I do, and Carrie Ann said this, that he tries, and that's what gives that him that X true. factor, and that's what that's, that's all you can ask from the, from a celebrity, I would think, yes. Yes. from can, the three of you, yeah. Can I just say that Sharna reminded oh. me of, wait, wait, she reminded me of Shania Twain a little bit, mm. oh. in the cat suit. She reminded me Nobody of that? Of old school Catwoman from old back yes. in the day. Catwoman, yes. I was like, I, love I had you. someone, I Becca, love on you. Twitter was literally like, Can you get that cat suit from Sharna for my husband? Because he's in love with her. I'm like, I will work on that. I'll call Sharna and ask. But uh, the one thing I love about Andy, he just has so much heart. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that just yeah. makes me, I want him to succeed. I want him to do better. 
I know he's trying, so I'm, hopefully he'll have a better week because they were right there on the edge yeah, of were, going right. home. And yeah. I, I think a lot of that comes down to Shannon though as well because she's doing such a great job, you she know. Is. And 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 the thing is, it, it always comes back to the fact that well, they're not a dancer, they're not a dancer. But it's not even so much that. It's it's just that everybody's different in anything that they do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and you have to you have to be clever with what you want to focus on for the week. And I think that's what Sharon is doing so good, certainly mm -hmm. in her first season, is that she's focusing on the right things. So granted, maybe he's not into the ground and stuff like that, you know what I mean? But what he is doing is he's entertaining, and I think that's the, that, that's the main thing. And the rest is, 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 a, is a full... It's a full picture that she's putting out every week, which is so good. And it's, and it's given... It's given him the confidence that maybe he's not getting maybe from the judges' comments and stuff because that's what you don't know how to gauge. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. You do your best when you go in there, and then you're really hit by them judges' scores, and you kind of forget that it's only three opinions from however many the people are watching it. But they hit you the hardest, you know. So, so I think China's doing a great job by keeping them up and then building them up each week like that as well. Well, it's so. always so funky. It's such a funky feeling. It's like. And, and people at home maybe don't understand that, but psychologically, after you just finished a performance, I mean, okay, who's watching the show right now? How can I, what can I, what can I talk about? Yeah. No, no, your ears. come on, go so for it. We it's, found something. Give me, give me, give me. It's, that, it's like you just, you just had this experience that is not just a bodily experience, it's a soul experience as well, because in order to, to be on that stage and dance to the music and you have all this crowd going crazy around you, I mean, adrenaline is pumping, you have to open your heart and, like, give it out every single time. So you are, as a person, Person, psychologically, mentally, emotionally, you are completely open. You are so vulnerable. I just went and there. Then, I'm like, yes. <laughs> you know what? Like, I just did this. It was like, oh, yeah, that kind of experience. Mm -hmm. And right. then here you are, and you're getting judged right away. So it's like, it's, it shocks you even yeah, harder. Right. I mean, I think if they, they would get the, the scores or the judges' comments like a, a day later, they'd be like, oh, okay, all right, makes sense. But they, because I've been there so many times with my celebrities, and I feel the same way because I'm so happy that my guys did it. I mean, when I had Carson Kressley, and watching Andy just reminded me of Carson mm. so, yeah. so many that ways. That journey and everything. That journey and that, like, awkwardness, but that vulnerability and willing to try whatever whatever yeah, they can do. Yeah, so right. it's like you, you just, you're just so open and you're so vulnerable at that moment. you like a soft thing inside outside of a shell okay we're gonna have to okay. keep on moving on because we, yeah. we, we gotta got say one thing, one thing <laughs> real but quick lynn i didn't enjoy that comment where he was like you're not a dancer i didn't like that because i think andy could honestly handle some really i think so well, he's ha and he's handled some nice and performances like last so week i didn't i didn't appreciate that comment but you know you're entitled to your opinion and they give him a 666 <laughs> for an 18. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, yeah I think he can. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it was appropriate, but right. well, I just want Andy to do better. Go I just Andy. love him. I know. Yeah. We go into Ingo and Kim oh. on the Paso Doble. To, wait, the Paso Doble to Another One Bites the Dust. I love that. I don't know. Bom. Okay, I, I just have to say right off the bat, that is a really <laughs> hard song because it's going to create stilted movement because that's what you're hearing that beat in your head. And I thought that's what he's listening to. And so it's going to mm. be really hard for him to do anything but that. No, go no, ahead, Siri. No, I know no, my head is fa it was falling. I was. I'm not. <laughs> you, she has nothing to say. Who has something to say about the pasta doble? I can I think say about right. the pasta yeah. doble. I think he was one of the better routines of the night. Personally, it was a yeah. fantastic. Really? Yeah. yeah. He had great attack. He had yeah. really good attack. He was choreographically. Let me just say something here, okay? Let me just say something. <laughs> Break it down. Say it. Choreographically, say it. people, it had a lot of content. He mm -hmm. really attacked it. He really went for it. He did. I think Kim gave him great steps. Like it had all the elements of pasta. Doble with the cookiness of prom night and another one bites the dust like yeah. as an overall product it was really really good okay in terms of the song though I mean how many song choices are you given for none yeah, they're no. gonna tell you you're doing a yes. pasta doble and you're doing it to another one bites yes. the dust yes. you can see, hand you, you can suggest you things, and then sometimes you get it sometimes sometimes you, you get something you like you know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. But but the thing, like you're saying about that, granted, it, it, it is different, but at the same time, it can be a help as well. When you have that mm. such a heavy beat in it like that, if nothing else, you can't kind of be soft through it. You know what I mean? And that's the one thing that everyone's going to get called on, on something, on a strong dance, and, and you kind of just flimsy through it. At least right. if you're hearing this all the time, eventually you're going to hit something. Go, you know, and it's that. probably Good easier one. for him to count too in yeah, terms right. of he that one. He did give it all. He did. Give him that. Yeah. 
uh, 21. Good. Good one. 21. Yep. Good. All right. Okay. Oh, we go into Lisa and Gleb in the Viennese waltz. And, uh, mm. you know, Lisa is such an interesting person She's because great. we heard from Sharna the very first week her dress rehearsal went fantastic and then she kind of fell apart in the performance. Mm. And at the beginning of the dance this week, I felt like her confidence was up and she yeah. was there. And then she misses a step and she loses it and she gets out of her head and it's all gone. Right. Yeah. That can, that can happen for anyone. You know it's, what I mean? And it's, it's hard to get back show. on track. It's very hard. And and it's to be honest, Monday and Tuesday is a long day. Like mm. it's a really a long day. And when you have to go in, certainly for the girls, it's longer for us. Well, if you have to come in, if you have to come in like half six in the morning or seven o'clock to get your bleeding makeup and hair done, <laughs> and you know what I mean? And then, and then you finally and you finally dance it. And if you do it like if you do it real good during your orchestra thing, and then you and then you dress on, you're like, boom, got this. And then you ha sit down for a bleeding four hours and go try remember it and do it again. You know what I mean? Yes. That's taxing on your mind. I don't think people. I'm, I'm so happy you said that because I don't think people know that you guys right? are there all day mm, yeah. rehearsing. Yes. Right. And I mean, you're, it's a long day. And, and so any. Anything can happen day. on a live show, you know what I mean? So it's um, right. so yeah. usually, I mean, for me anyway, it used to go that the dress run would uh, be terrible, like, you know what I mean? It'd be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> but then you can kind of you can kind of build it up then because you can build people up and go, you know what, it's not great, but it's been great all week and this is the one chance you just have to do it right once, you know what I mean? And, and sometimes you can lose that when your dress run goes so well because mm -hmm. you're like, you know what, you're grand. You'll be all right. And you kind of, you lose that kind of, kick a little bit that you right. need, you know what I mean? I always find that. Every time dress run is bad, you get a great performance. Every that time the right. dress run is good. I was good. just going to ask, do you guys follow through with that? Yeah. Right? yeah. And it all just comes down to that, that, that pressure, you know what I mean? When you know, oh my God, this, that was terrible, then your brain is just going over it, going over it. You, you make sure, and then when you get out there, you're, you're so focused that you just nail every little bit and piece that you right. had in your mind, you know what I mean? Whereas if you don't have that level of attentiveness, it just goes out the window, you know? You mm -hmm. just go, oh, what was that next yeah, step? Right. And then that's it. Right. That's where it goes. I don't, I, don't think it's a, I don't think it's a slackness, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not saying that. It's, oh, it's, just, it's just human nature, I think. When, right. when, you, when, you're, com when you're comfortable Comfort. with something, mm. you get comfortable and you kind of... Get cozy. Maybe, yeah. You get your you blanket know. and you get your cup of tea and you just want to chill a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not thinking about it. Um, this was interesting. They, they were scored to 21. Hmm. And I think in comparison to if you look at what Ingo did yeah. and then I sit there and, and what Andy did before that, was the 21 fair with Lisa and Gleb? I think she should have at least gotten 1-8 from one of the judges, I think. Really? Because oh, I thought I, it I should have been this, lower. No, no, no. Yeah. I think I yeah. thought... For me, I'm always going to defend Lisa because I think she's fantastic. You just because the Real like Housewives her too, and I, I love that. I enjoy their performance. You just this, like her. You do the videos. You just like the leotards that she's wearing. Let me see this. You just You're like her boots that she's out in the leotards. She sold them for me, so <laughs> <laughs> I'll, get them, I'll get them back eventually. He, he loves the very much. Let me just say this: that she, I think that she's really working on her posture and her footwork, and some of her lines at the very beginning of the dance were great. Yes. Yeah. And I think I think she's one of the few people that are showing progression each week. I enjoy her. I, I got She's not. She's not one that I cringe when I watch. Exactly. Least, that's and that's a lot for me this season. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the comments that you always have to worry about because it's very difficult to compare. Like if you you can shoot yourself in the foot when you mark the first couple and go, you know what, three sevens, because then you have to compare eleven yeah, more couples true. for that first people. So to be honest with you, the scores don't really matter. You know yeah. I mean, it's the comments because the comments are direct. You know what I mean? The comments are about you. It's not, right. well, you didn't do this as good as Lisa. That's not coming on your comments. You know what I mean? Just the score is, and you kind of take a chance. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, you know, and, and then it's just your ego that gets hit if you're at the bottom of the leaderboard. At the right. top, right? It's the right. comments that are, are the things you want to listen to. All right. Before we move into our other dances, there's a lot to get through. Oh, but yeah. uh, I'm going to take another fan question. <laughs> uh, and this is from Jane Owens at A Glance magazine. Both of you guys can answer this one. Is there a dance style that you haven't had the opportunity to choreograph yet that you would really like to do? And don't say all of them, ha ha. Um. Yes, there is. I mean, to be honest with you, it's more, it's not so much about dance style, it's more about songs that I want to use. Mm -hmm. uh, and, Throw out and, some songs that you would love uh, to use. Well, there's, I mean, there's a lot. There is a... Uh, Another one see, bites the dust. No, because what happens <laughs> now, right? I get the boot off the show, and then they go, what songs do you wish you danced to? And I go, I wish you danced to this song. And then I'm sitting at home watching the show next week, and someone's dancing to it, <gasps> and I go, <laughs> nice one. And then I can't do it next, <laughs> nice next season. So there is a lot. There is a lot. Um, I haven't got a chance to dance with a celebrity partner yet, a, a Viennese waltz, I don't think I've danced with them yet. 
or, or an Argentine tango and yeah. I really like that. I love you know, But I, I, I like me, to be honest with you, I like me slow songs. <laughs> what a romantic. Yeah. I love it. Right. How about you, Henry? Yeah. I mean, I, I did uh, Dancing with the Stars in Australia and, and had a celebrity partner there. So I, I know the experience, but I haven't had it here. So for me, it's it's less about what dance style and more just give me a partner. And I'll, <laughs> right? and I'll show you what Henry I can do. For pro. You know? Henry for pro. <laughs> I love that photo you guys tweeted with the prom. You know, you guys yeah. were in your letters. Yeah. And you put pro with a question mark. I was like, wait mark. a second, guys. I think we've... <laughs> Get over here, Sasha. And then we, bro. <laughs> that was great. That's I didn't miss that. Awesome. All right, let's move into our other dances. We've got Kelly and Derek doing the jive. Aww. I screamed at the TV when he slid down the stairs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. so cool. Kelly, go to prom with me. <laughs> yeah. I bet she swap. did. All right. Where do you think, Jake? I love that they danced to Footloose. I mean, yes. that was the perfect song for prom, especially, too. Yes. And I am obsessed with her. I think that she will be around to the very end. I'm, I want her to be there, at least. And I think that her shapes are phenomenal. She hits yeah. the shapes, and you see it. It's so crisp and clean. The one thing, some of the things, I wish her shoulders would go down a little bit. I noticed there was like a little stiffness in her upper back because her lower back is so ridiculously flexible. I just wanted her. And that it's nice to nitpick her because you can, because yeah. she can improve yeah, on it and do so much it. better. But I... I'm in love with her, and I think the two of them, I yes. think she might be one of his best partners that I he's ever so had. Too. Mm -hmm. And he's wow. had amazing partners. Yeah. I don't know. I think that she, I think they give a good energy with each other, and I like it. Yeah. They look like siblings. They yes. really they do. do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I think it was so much fun. I, mm -hmm. I mean, like you said, the song was perfect. The outfits were perfect. The whole slide. I mean, and how cool was it? I mean, I'm watching it, right? And I'm like, oh my gosh, it gives me flashbacks because. Derek actually, for some of you who don't know, was uh, in musical theater and he performed uh, in West End in London as the main character of da -da 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 -da, Footloose. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -hmm. So he actually was the, the Footloose guy. He was Kevin Bacon. He was Kevin Bacon. And he looks a bit like Kevin Bacon. He does. He does. He does. He does. So I don't see it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't see it. Look, yeah. if you see the little spiky hair, they do that. Uh, it does, right? it does. I mean, that, I, don't, I never think feel. it's Kevin Bacon there, but I mean, he has yeah. But he's got the same sort <laughs> of movement as well. There we go, Kevin Bacon yeah. then. Well, he looks a little bit like mm. him. Same aura. Yeah. He can play the six degrees of Kevin Bacon game. Yeah. With him. <laughs> well, he's, he's super. He's unbelievable, Derek, and he, yeah. he always has that great His talent is phenomenal. Nice see it. Yeah, for sure, right? It's really amazing. You can't hold that back. You can't. You really can't. You can't hold it down either. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five was their score. I don't think anyone's going to argue with that. No, it was and Lynn score. gave them the nine. That was awesome. I that know. he gave. I was. That's. That means a lot coming yes. from him. I know. I love it when people just yell at Len for being cranky. I know. Do you guys yell yell at Len all the time? Like you're just cranky. Oh. We no, try, we tried. We, we, like, you know what I mean? We, you know, we, we had a we had a, a little moment with him with all the boys. Actually, we were rehearsing the all boys number. And Len came in, and, and we uh, tried, we tried, and then uh, I think we tweeted a picture, actually Dancing with the Stars tweeted a picture of what happened as a result of screaming with Len, and it was that, you know those new Hadouken uh, mm -hmm. pictures? Yeah. That's what happened, so that was <laughs> That's the last cute. time we did I that. I love the Hadouken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. we move on to Victor and Lindsay doing Contemporary. Yeah. This was right. a sexy prom. I don't know, Lindsay and <laughs> Victor went to the sexy prom, very different than the other prom, that Footloose, which was very sweet and innocent, yeah. mm -hmm. um, but it was nice to see Victor kind of find his groove this week. Mm -hmm. He needed yeah. to, I he think. To. Mm -hmm. Vic is great. Vic, lo like, he's, he, Lindsay's great. Sorry, Lindsay's They're a striking couple. Yeah, they really are, you know? And and Vic is, is funny. Sorry, he's funny. He's a funny guy, Vic, all right? And he, and he, um, he doesn't take himself too serious. Yes. But he tries hard, mm. you yes. know? And, 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 like, you see him in there and he goes, you know what, it was bad this week. He goes, I was bad last week, but uh, at least I'm happy this week. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, he, and he does. He's getting better. And, and again, Lin Lindsay has a tough job as well, just coming in for her first season. But being being that young coming in and being with someone who's who's such a, a dominant figure himself, like you know what I mean? So, yes. so she has a lot to deal with and, and kind of building someone up like that. And, and, and that was a test for her to... I think it was it was the first week when he wanted to take a walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. I mean, the way she handled it was you know amazing, I mean? and that's and that's a lot. That's a lot to do, and and, and it, it's great to see them have a, have a, such a strong performance like that. And, and I think he's only right. going to get better. That's for sure. I mean, working with Lindsay this week was was kind of an eye opener for all of that. And it is hard because he's he's a boxer, so you kind of 
expect the movement to be like this. But actually, I think what was interesting was watching him do contemporary. She choreographed a really great routine for him to kind of not only partner, but move and yes. actually release some of his movement. And so you saw there was that little little moment in, in the package that he did this this get up, you know, like a contemporary get up, which was like, you know, that's that's some serious stuff. So he can he can move. You know, so I think I think you're right. You know, she will she will develop that. Yeah, I just love the fact that he comes from such a tough sport. I mean, being a boxer, but at the same time, he's just relaxed he's about very himself. Mm -hmm. He's very gentle. He's very easygoing. He doesn't take himself too seriously. And yeah. he's like, all right, so I'll make fun of myself, whatever. So I'll right. wear, you know, <laughs> tight Latin pants. Okay, <laughs> fine. I'll go barefoot. Fine, whatever. Like, the, I love that. I love the fact that he just is going for it with a very humble attitude. Yeah, exactly. he's a sweet guy. The one interesting thing I, I see, though, this was a contemporary dance. Now he has to really take that energy that which he had to harness in and now take it into ballroom mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. because we're throwing contemporary, and, and sometimes I do feel like we're on So You Think You Can Dance when we're doing these contemporary numbers. Yeah. So Well... It, yeah, it, it, it looks a little bit of like an episode of So You Think You Can Dance when we do contemporary numbers, I, I do think, versus ballroom. Jazz contemporary. And yeah. 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 I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong you? with it. Sometimes it does. Like the first week it bothered me because right. I wanted to see class. I want everyone to be on an even playing field right. and go, let's let's see ballroom on everyone. Do you, do you feel like maybe sometime people who get contemporary, especially if it's a, a male celebrity and a female uh, instructor, do you feel like they get it a little easier? I think so. Is I that think, the feeling you get? I think with Ingo, like it, for the first, mm. because I was like, I'm not sure if he can do ballroom. Can he dance right. beyond this one style? So. Right. I'm not saying the contemporary is easier than anything, but you know, ballroom is so specific when we talk about very holds technical. and yeah, very yeah. technical. So, For sure. all right. But I don't think it's dancing ballroom and Latin with the stars, though. You know what I mean? I think that's what people get lost sometimes. I mean, it's not it's not ever going to be so you think you dance because it's, that's not the concept of the show. You know what I mean? And and mm -hmm. from I'd imagine from a celebrity's point of view coming in, doesn't really matter if it's a chat show. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Either way, it's either just way hard. I know I've, I've danced before, so it doesn't really matter what it is. Yeah, I mean, you can do a contemporary and go, this is called a chat chat, and they go, all right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that is true. I like, have no idea. That's what I yeah. do, anyway. I, I, like, I like what Lynn said about their dance. He said that the lifts were great, but some of the in between was kind of shaky a little bit, and I think that, but those lifts were incredible, and some of the things Beautiful. that he was, right. I mean, he's so strong, and that's amazing that the two of them, their chemistry just works with those lifts. I love watching right. them together. They're yeah. just cute. I can't wait to see I've, where they progress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Great. That's what I was going to say. I mean, I've, I've liked them from week one. They've, he's been super charming, mm -hmm. and yeah. I'm enjoying them She's got awesome week. legs, too. Just legs for days. Mm -hmm. uh, 23 was their score. I think their Pretty best good. score yet. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I thought was great. And then we go to, here we go, everyone ready? DL and Cheryl doing the salsa. Yay. He's my favorite. I, do you love him? Yeah. Uh, he's your favorite? Tell us yes, why honestly. he's your favorite. Because, because I think people, they, they don't realize how much it takes to, to be able to take something like that and, and to come back. You know what I mean? Because again, it is very easy for him to walk away. And he could walk away. He could very easily just go, you know what? I'm over this. And, and I think sometimes, uh, because because he's a, a, a comic, mm. and, and you you assume that he he knows how to take kind of Resilient. abuse from people, you know what I mean? But that takes an awful lot, and certainly to throw yourself out there in front of that many people. And granted, he had a blip and he had a go with Cheryl one time, but you can't forget that he also apologized for it. Yes. You know what I mean? He's had a nice attitude change. I've he, noticed well, it in the last has, couple weeks. Know? Yeah, he has, he has. And I think sometimes with some people when they come in, if you really like someone from the off, you let them away with a lot of stuff. And if you don't like someone, you can never see past the good that they're doing. And mm. I think I think that's a little bit what's happened now at the mm. moment, mm -hmm. you know. And and I think sometimes maybe the comments have been a bit harsh on them, but I, I'd imagine it's because they think he can take them. But at the same time, it doesn't justify saying them. Mm. I want to say that I didn't enjoy their performance. However, yeah. I I do feel for him whenever you know they went on right. him his face. I could feel his heart. There were tears in his eyes. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, and tough. I. I you know, it's just I one give thing. him credit for, it, like you said, coming back and giving it everything, and because he's taken a pummeling. You can still, I mean, I'm not going to say, well, he's a brilliant talent, sir. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> he's not, and he knows that. You know what right. I mean? He yeah. knows that. But the fact of the matter is, he's also there to entertain, and he's entertaining not only the people who follow him, but he's trying to entertain the people that don't like him as well. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? And he doesn't have to do that. That's tough. You know what I mean? So, 
but he's there to entertain everybody, not just the people who like him. Now, all the forums for Dancing with the Stars, a lot of people were upset that they went over what the judges said again last night in the results show and kind of pummeled him one more time. Now, <laughs> and I realize we got to under understand that this is a TV show and producers yes. want to produce good TV. Yes. Um, but it does upset some of the people, and they thought it was not fair that they did that again because not everyone else had all of their scores sort of reviewed the way DLs were. I think it's refreshing that he kind of responds back to the judges because most of the people that are on the show are just like, okay, and they kind of take, not take it, but on camera they take it basically, and he's kind of, you see him almost uncomfortable because I think he's usually the one that's used to right. being firing off yeah, right. and having the last yeah. word and having the last word too. There's uh -huh. video of him leaving yeah. at night, yeah, going off about like how... Yeah, the mics are cut off. That's the other thing. You guys finish dancing, and the mics are cut off, so you cannot talk back to the judges without talking into Tom's mic. Good or bad? What do you guys think? Probably Anna? Good. <laughs> Tristan? Uh, you, I did talk man. to the judges in the past. I did. I, I did say some stuff to the judges. I'm sure sometimes yeah. it's warranted. I mean, of course, yeah. I mean, we're all adults, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you can say, you want, like, you you know can what I mean? say whatever you say. I mean, it is live TV. I mean, they could cut it off, but sometimes yeah. they don't. See, when you're dancing, actually, you mic'd all the time, so yeah. they, they can choose to show it. It's really up to, which is kind of scary, but at the same time, it's like, y you never know. They might actually sometimes show that on Tuesday. Yeah, right? <laughs> sometimes it's better to just tell one side of the story. And sometimes that, that's that's what happens. <laughs> I just think I just think with uh, DL, I think I do have to give him a, a lot of credit for going and doing choreography not only on stage but already on a raised box where like every eye is on him, like but multiplied by a hundred. And then you can see the feet too. And you can mm -hmm. see everything. I mean, when when you raise up that stage like what they did on Monday, I, it was like an extra, I mean, he put an extra thing for him and, and that took a lot of courage. And I, I thought the concept of their routine was really great. I mm -hmm. thought it was very entertaining. Now, the content was a little bit lacking. The concept was great. The contact, content and form could have been better. Mm -hmm. And that's why they got a 16. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Jacoby and Karina doing the rumba. All right, ladies. Yeah. Love yes. sexy. Love. I'm going to make a prediction. I think Jacoby's going to be the last man standing. Got it. I agree. It's gonna I, be think, a I agree. I think he's in the final three. Because the men this year are not as strong as the women. Yeah. It really is true. I love oh. watching this couple. Yeah. Love. I, they're one He's of my favorite sexy. couples. He's got some good fluidity <laughs> going. That's what's going to get him in the final anyway. <laughs> He's sexy. You know I mean? He's got some good abs. All that guy has to do is just the default. He pops his shirt open <laughs> and he does a little wiggle. And he's there. And yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? That's yeah, but, what all the guys have to do. But I, but I think I think with Jacoby in particular, like there is there is still something about him that that is He's coming alive. I didn't expect yeah. him in that number. Uh, I think they did jazz. Yes. I, mm -hmm. I did not expect that from him yes. at all. Not not only he was able to perform the routine, he was able to do it in a coordinated manner yes. with. A ton of personality. Right. Yes. When yes. you can do it with that much personality, that means you feel your your body is, is got some coordination to it. Right. And every number he's done, he's shown more and more of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And he's coming yeah. off of knee surgery too. We need to remember yeah, right. that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 The guy's got the guy's got a great journey going on, I think. I agree. Right? And he's a super yeah. guy. Like I said, he's he's he doesn't lose his personality because he's he's used to working hard as himself. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? That can sometimes happen. Like sometimes you get in your head because you're like, I want to try real hard, I want to try hard. But that's what he does all the time. And he's known as a clown. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you think? And, 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 and he, he is a clown, you know what I mean? But he's got a lot of talent and he backs it up and he's he's just super. He's great yeah. to be around and, and for sure I was only joking there before but even though I do think that's but all the guys true, need yeah, to do. It, 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 yeah. But it's kind of true. <laughs> yeah. 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 It is yeah. true, but, but he'll, get to, he'll, get to, he'll get to the final on talent alone. Yeah, yeah, it's, this guy's and talented. His I love when his the rumba comes up. And he just won mm. Super Bowl, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love when the rumba comes up because it is almost like contained electricity. There's so much control yeah. and slow, and you really have to feel that. And I was anxious to see how he handled that, and it was... Yeah. Lovely, he just did a seamless. It was. There was just something about it. The two of them, they're magic together. And I the, love watching them. The fact that he's such a like kind of goofy guy, clownish, and the f and that he could 
tone it down, mm -hmm. but not only tone it down, but to completely reverse it right. into like this really <laughs> romantic, sexy persona for the rumba. I was like, you go, she was <laughs> yeah. hilarious. Karina saying, you know how he was like grabbing her face. He's like, no, she's like, no, she's gentle, <laughs> gentle. <laughs> yeah, she's like, no, you don't grab me like this. I show you how you grab me, gentle. And you're like, okay, right. I will follow Karina. <laughs> <laughs> I guess gentle. Mom. Yeah. And their score was a 24, so they are very at good. Top of the scoreboard, which is great. Yeah. Um, I do want to move in just to a couple of quick fan questions before we get to the last three dances. But um, I do want to give a shout out to it's Kina, I believe it is her birthday today. Uh, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Yes, <laughs> Kina. Kina. And um, <laughs> this is from Jonathan Calderon, and he wants a follow from both Henry and Tristan Commandos. He is a Huge fan of both of you, so can you have oh, a follow on Twitter? He's oh. Johnny Calderon 11. <laughs> well, we're all give you that. <laughs> Take notes. <laughs> Take notes. <laughs> it is on, remember, we have this on camera, whether you said yes or not. <laughs> right. That's a maybe. <laughs> maybe for I the don't follow. Don't go on Twitter, but whatever. Nice guy. <laughs> I, know the, I think the last time you tweeted was last week, wasn't it? it probably was. was. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, or, did you have someone tweeting for you? Are you not tweeting? I don't. I send him messages all the time. I never reply. You know what I mean? <laughs> Busy getting on me life. Yeah. So Johnny, you might get a follow, but then he'll never tweet you. So there you go. Yeah. All right. Let's get to the last three dances, and we go to <laughs> Winona. Mean I don't like you. Sorry. <laughs> we like you. Mm -hmm. Winona and Tony doing the samba. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let, let me just say this, please. With such a big personality, where does it go when she dances? Because she has such confidence as a performer. And as a person. As a person. Mm -hmm. And it just gets completely lost. And I feel like she's so afraid to move her body. And, you know, she's a bigger girl, but I don't think she's that big. Like, no. I think sometimes some of the, the wardrobe made her look a lot bigger. Because I'm like, no, she's not that big, honestly. No. And I feel like there's a psychology to this. There, yeah. There's something in her head that's telling her, like, yeah. don't move. or And it, it yeah. was frustrating me because I'm like, I like you. And I want you to go on this journey. Right. Mm. I, thought, I thought they... Uh, I, th I thought it was a very clever idea with the choreography and the whole <laughs> put your sugar on me. I mean, that song is like oh, hilarious. Right. And Tony and did what he could. And right. Tony right. rocked the rock Rocked star. It, definitely. He said yeah. it's the cool. ultimate stripper song. Yeah. he said. Uh, kind of, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and he did a little pole move there, Tony Dovolani. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I agree. Like, she's such a. It's like. Where, where does it go? She's such a huge personality. I think that it's almost the fact that everybody expects her to be a huge personality almost mm. almost hurts her mm. when she's because she's like, guys, I, I, this, I don't do this. Like, this is not my thing. But is so. she talking herself out of this? I mean, what have you guys seen? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I haven't seen the back of it. I mean, I've seen I've seen them in rehearsals and things mm. like that. But you know, to me, it came across that I, I think you're right when, when you say there's a bit of psychology there, yeah. uh, kind of overthinking perhaps, um, uh, rather than just letting it all go. You know what I mean? And, it's and, hard. And it, it is really, really hard it's to find that balance. It's very hard. Because if you don't, yeah. if you don't, like you can come across as if you don't care or you mm -hmm. don't want to be, you know, yeah. in that place. But I don't think that's the case with her. No. I think it's just. Something, something in her there. head that's mm. telling her. Yeah, because mm. I was like, she's just. And she mystery. actually looked really beautiful. Like her makeup, as wild as it was, oh, and her hair. Great. She has such a pretty face, and the hair, and everything. I mean, I'm partial to redheads, so I'm just saying. <laughs> she's like, I, I like the gingers. I was really I love it. Bummed about, by by them this week. I wanted yeah. them to last longer. Definitely. Yeah, I wanted to see her break through the ice. Yeah. I wanted to mm. see her improve and just kind of let loose. Could you imagine that moment with her just going like just bam, going, like a head I mean, roll and a face? She would have just like blow up. She yeah. would have been like a, a, you know, like a rocket. Yeah. They, they seem genuinely shocked by the judges' comments, though, because the judges were like, "We need you to really bring it. Don't be so timid." And her, both their faces were like, "But then she what? did say afterwards that they're right." Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But she, she is, and that. I just, I just wanted for her because I know that, like we all said, she has such a huge personality. I just wanted her to go for it and get those hair flips and just get crazy with it because I know that she's yeah. capable of that. And I didn't like that she came off so careful and casual about right. the whole thing, which yes. is I know it's not what she intended. It's not so. what she intended. Right. It stinks. Um, and that was a 15. And as we all know, yeah. that was the last week for them.
Um, which I were you shocked that she went home? I was not. I, she, you know, I, I was happy, and really I was surprised. Shocked. I th I thought with their fan base, well, she had the lowest score, alone. Right? Winona, mm -hmm. yeah. Winona and Tony combined, I, I definitely thought it was going to be a different couple. Yeah. I was really shocked about it. I didn't expect. Them I, know, I, I didn't even expect them to be in the bottom three. Honestly, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know she does have a huge fan base. I guess if you could just even go off of that, but I, I felt like I just wanted her to move, and I was like, if you're not going to move. It's time to go. Right. I don't know, and I, I hate yeah. to sound mean because I wanted to see more, more of her. You but. almost, you almost want like you want people who aren't really good like to get better and succeed. Mm -hmm. You want to root for them because people who are already good and young and pretty and skinny, you're like, whatever. You're already great. Your life. <laughs> we love your the underdogs. Is, your life is already, you know, like <laughs> sparkles and butterflies. So, <laughs> hey, <why>? Zendaya, <laughs> you're 16. Everything's wow. going well. <laughs> Anna, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go into this one because this was one. Was that mean? Was that mean? No, no, no we no, love no. Zendaya. I know what's coming out of you now. <laughs> oh, I gosh. know what's happening. I'm angry, everyone. What? Sean and Peta. Why was this the encore dance? Someone. Hey. It's because of Henry. Henry. We had Henry, questions about you it. You look fantastic, <laughs> Henry. <laughs> Sean, I feel like he's being propped up. I have to be honest. I feel he is just not a natural mover. He's awkward. And every week they're like, yay, hooray, he got a 21. What? Am I, am I crazy? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Sean is, is a nice guy. Everyone mm. I know that worked with him on The Bachelor has had great things to say about him. He's good looking. He's got a good body. I just don't like watching him dance. I don't either. I, have to, I, I don't either. I, I didn't really. I don't understand why it was the encore e as well. I wrote but WTH. I, I what the will heck? say this: He gives it his all. Yes, yes. yes. which we all can appreciate. Really it is about that. You which know, you know what? This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what is the difference between Peter and Sean and Tony and Winona? Good question. Extra people this is what I'm saying. from the troop, people dressed like no, village people irrelevant. dancing <laughs> no, no. behind them. <laughs> no, I mean, what that's I'm, what I'm huge. Saying is, though, you know, Do like you know said. how many votes he got just from that, <laughs> from certain cities? No, I'm just but kidding. You know no, it's I mean? an excellent point. But that's what, that's what I'm saying, and, 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 that, and that's the thing that I'm saying when people are voting and stuff. You know what I mean? Everyone's entitled to vote for whoever they want, mm -hmm. for whatever yeah. reason they want to. But you can't, you can't just go, well, you're good looking, you're taking the top off, so... That's not right, but you know what? You're trying your best, and, and you might be a little bit bigger in this and that, or whatever it might be. Right. You know what I mean? You, everyone has something. Everyone yeah. has something. You know what I mean? Everyone has challenges. Right. But, but, but you, you can't kind of, you can't um, compare in one breath and then not in another one. Mm -hmm. Is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? I agree with that. Yeah, I think I think it just tough. has to it, it has to stop and start with the level that you commit as as the celebrity, the the level that you give, the care factor you give should be the primary level and then after that you can start looking at the the form mm. and the you know musicality and all of those technical you know what, aspects. What sucks though for and this is like I think a lot of celebrities can learn from like last week in Winona because I actually think she cared a lot mm -hmm. yeah. but she was almost afraid to show how much she cared like she didn't want to and I think it's kind of like uh, our our time like it's like a woman problem women problem like we don't want to be needy like we want to be self-sufficient like we don't want to show like oh we well, need she's it been so the caretaker for everybody right in her life. it's like right. I don't want to like I want to show I'm a strong woman and I can take it and I don't want to show the, the guys that I really really need it and I really really want it and it's kind of like you gotta in this show and I I would say that to my celebrities like you gotta work for your fans Yep. Mm. You gotta mm -hmm. come through for your fans. You gotta every single week get out there and say, I wanna be there, yeah. I wanna do this, I love it, guys, please vote for me. Because, and don't just say it, act it, behave Feel it, it that way, feel it, like show them, I'm having the best time. Please keep me on, and they will. But if you come and you you inside, you really really want it, but you don't maybe show it because you're too afraid to show it or whatever the psychological reasons you lose be. them you do yeah. I mean like it's that that weird magnet that if people think that they need laws it, of attraction don't. there you go I think it's yeah. hard for him too as well because I think he's one of the few celebrities that didn't have a true sense of rhythm whatsoever <laughs> coming into the show <laughs> like, like he like no 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 I'm not and I'm not saying that in a mean way but like no, I, think, no. I feel like we she know. had to you she had to really nice. she had to really explain you this think is the beat up, of yeah. the music, you know? <laughs> yep. And I think that they have fun together. And I like, I think, so. I think that, that energy is nice to see. Mm -hmm. I just wish that he would lengthen through his arms. Doing the YMCA part, I was like, it looks like you're like, 
little brother, you know. CeeLo arms. Well, he's got like, big yeah. muscles. CeeLo arms. arms. Yeah, yeah those he's arms are hot. CeeLo arms. <laughs> Lengthen, I don't know. All right, you guys, we're going to have to wrap this up yeah. really fast. So that was a 21, um, and let's just talk really quickly about Zendaya and Val. There's not much else to say other than it was really sweet. Really Viennese good. waltz, yeah. Um, so charming, so sweet, Very so charming. innocent. Mm. She's that was fantastic. I think she's, she's great, great, but and I and I think some people kind of forget that she still puts in all the hours that she does. Yeah. And yeah. And, and the fact of the matter is, she doesn't choose how many hours she can put in. No. The law does. The law does. Yeah. And she has school. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and she has she school, too. Oh, puts them that's hours in. true. So, yeah. She's got school. Right. She's so, so it's easy to kind of go, well, she's 16. She should be able to do this. She should be able to do that. I know 16-year-olds that can't do that. Mm. You know what I mean? And, A lot and of 16-year-olds I think it's an easy stuff, kind yeah. of thing to go, well, she can do it. She should be able to do it. She's no, doing this, that's she's doing not exactly. true. Right. Yeah. Can I just say that the most impressive thing to me about Zendaya, and that's why I think... When this show is done and done, she's going to become a huge star. Mm -hmm. I yes. just have that sure. sense. She's Definitely. big with the Disney Channel set. She'll be yeah, bigger than that. But right. not even that. Like, there's the quality about her that when she dances, she connects every single emotion to her movement. And mm. she's so natural when she's emoting and performing. And you can't teach that. Yeah. Definitely no. not a 16-year-old. She just has it. She has it in you, her. You see, like, I've seen her in rehearsals. And this is, this is a 16-year-old with the focus of a 28-year-old. You yeah. know, she's just spot on with everything it's a great matchup with Val because yes. Val is very you know he takes so much care of his celebrities and he really thinks about it a lot you know and, and so it's a great match between the two of them and you could see it in that one line yeah. in that jive that they did mm -hmm. she did this one line this Ronde check line and you could see arm was straight leg was turned out Ugh. everything was like picture yeah. perfect that is dedication. That's gorgeous. True. And they Love were rewarded it. with a 24 on that. I think that's right. And Great. she was queen of the prom, by the way. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Queen of the prom. All right, you know, uh, we do have to wrap up really quick here, yes. but I do want to have a dance party. Yay. Yay. We gotta, uh, we're not going to do Get news warm. and gossip. We're not going to do predictions. Yeah, we're going to do a dance time. party because we've got two. Uh, the oh, we've got three. Pro are you going to join it? Uh, <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she is. Well, she's one of us, but you want it now. Who's going to get up there? Who's going? And then we're going. Go, Henry from Rome. Henry from Rome. Henry from Rome. Hey, we're passing it. it on, right? You gotta get over right. here. Here we go. Over right. here. Here we go. I'm loose, and everybody knows I got the truth. Yeah. It's the truth, it's the truth. I'm like Inception. 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 I'm like Inception